So, I'm Pat Dunn, and we're playing Skyrim. We're having some performance problems right now, and I tried um, tried uh, rebooting my uh, my system, and that w wasn't enough to actually get it performing well again. So hopefully we won't uh, run into uh, those problems too much here, but I'm definitely seeing an unimpressive frame rate right now. So. One of the things you'll notice about this area is that the Dwemer ruins, they have a lot of, uh, let's see if we can sneak up a little bit closer before we need to fire a crossbow bolt and begin the battle. So they have, uh, they make tents and fences out of this weird chitney looking substance. Okay, almost here, and now we're going to switch to casting Soul Trap in the left hand, and using our Blade Sword in the in the right. And uh, and it okay. So that's the spider dead. And we're going to take this level up for a nice free bit of uh, bit of extra um, health. So we'll take the deflect arrows perk, which is going to let us take uh, hit, hits on our uh, hits on our shield. And uh, they won't do any damage, which is pretty nice. Ah, shoot. Oh, well, Dusargo took care of that, so... Oh, but there are more. Whoa. Yeah, but we're still seeing a kind of a, a low frame rate right now, so... Okay, so we're going to heal up, and we might be doing a little bit more sword play f for now. Yeah, so this is the chitney material that I'm talking about. Oh, there's a chest here. That's nice. Not much interesting inside it. And here are two Falmer. There might be more up there. So... So the reason that they have that... Let's try hitting a wall to see if we can make some noise. No. The w reason that they have that is that the, uh, the Falmer... Presumably after the Dwemer already left... They were still down here, and they managed to tame... They managed to tame these, uh, these creatures. I'm going to see if... I know that I would prefer to be able to shoot these guys while they're trying to find us, rather than have them already at us. And it looks like... Okay. But over there, there are some... S and unfortunately, spiders in this game have the ability to actually to actually launch their poison at you by spitting or something. I'm not entirely sure how that works. It's pretty effective though. Let's switch back to our glass bow for now and loot this dude. I think as I mentioned 
That uh, those helmets are great because they can be worn with a um, with a uh, with a circlet, which is particularly useful when you're doing alchemy or smithing, because there you don't really care about your armor, but the extra, but the bonus can be pretty uh, pretty helpful. Okay, so that's one less spider. Okay, so we're doing pretty uh, well at this point. Unfortunately, we do seem to be using Falmer bows right now, which they are not a particularly, or I mean, I'm sorry, Falmer arrows, and they're not a particularly good, ah, healing hands. This is, that's a useful spell for healing your allies, and Particularly if I'm behind Jazargo and I notice that he's getting pretty beat up and I don't want him to get killed, then I can cast Healing Hands on him and it's not the best uh, not the best spell for healing your buddies, but it's a start and I've neglected to pick up anything before, so this definitely advances uh, advances my ability to heal my uh, my buds. So, let's see. I'm hoping that we won't continue to see these issues with slowdown, but we might. Huh. So we're near a door that we apparently want to go through up ahead. Huh, and this door takes us back outside. I didn't uh, didn't expect that. Okay. So apparently that uh, that dungeon doesn't have as much depth as I uh, thought it did, and we're just uh, right back outside again, which is fine. Um, so what we're going to do, apparently we're back in combat, and Jusargo is figuring out what we're fighting, maybe? What are we fighting? Oh, a, a troll. So he got a, uh, a blow into me, but yep, together we took care of it. So I figure while we're out here, we should probably uh, mark a few of these other places that we can see on our uh, on our map. don't understand why we're getting such a terrible frame rate right now. Okay, so this is one of the deeper and more interesting uh, entrances to uh, Uh, to Dwemer ruins uh, that you can find. And you cannot search that body. I guess it's been dead for too long. And the entrance is actually down... Um, there's a crevice somewhere around here. This looks like it. And if you were to drop down there and uh, and enter, you would find yourself inside, and it's a long winding path down into uh, the Dwemer areas. Oh, okay, looks like we've found another enemy. Let's... Okay. 
And it is just some random high elf. I'm not sure why we're fighting him, but he seemed to immediately beco uh, become hostile when he saw us. So, we will take him out. And he's a high elf wearing orcish armor and gauntlets, and carrying an orcish dagger. That's kind of weird. Anyhow. So that's a fun area. Then over here... We will find... I don't think there's... I think this is part of that ruin. Yeah, but over here there's a lighthouse. And there are some wolves. Well, we could use some more souls in order to improve our uh, improve our enchanting. So let's take care of these guys. Sweet. Okay. So two more ice wolf pelts. Maybe this is uh, revenge from the uh, lag monster that I uh, faced before. Lag monsters are among the most, most hated creatures in uh, video games. Okay, so there's the lighthouse. And uh, that's another area where uh, there's there are fun adventures inside, and we'll probably return to uh, actually. Let's poke our head in and take the quest, just to act as a reminder. A little bit further left. A little bit more further left. There we go. I didn't think. Oh, it's a storage room. Oh, we have some stuff I will take here. So I kind of wonder with uh, with games like this. This isn't a cave; it's a lighthouse. Just Argo, you really need to work on your basic. Uh, place recognition skills. But anyhow, um, I kind of wonder with, in worlds like this, are there people, have they ever thought about commodification of, uh, of production of, um, of things like potions? Because it would make sense to actually have people entirely devoted to, um, just making them and cranking them out whole scale. So this is a Karis. Karis, those are the creatures whose chitin is used, or chitin, I'm not sure, to make the tents and the other things of the Falmer. Um, and we can kind of hear one wandering around making uh, chittering sounds. So let's keep our sword out, keep So if you read the books in this area, you'll find out that uh, I believe this was a Dunmer family that moved here from Morrowind, which is a nearby province where the... I really do not like those ch chittering sounds. They are creepy. But uh, that's a nearby province where all the uh, Dunmer or uh, Dark Elves uh, come from. And they moved here to start a new life and you find 
that some of them were murdered. Maybe murder is the wrong word because Falmer are not exactly intelligent in the normal sense anymore. But uh, killed by uh, wow, lots of flowers, and I accidentally scooped up some clothes. That's fine. Did not mean to read the book. Anyhow, they moved here. They were killed by uh, by Falmer, and you can uh, you can head down and see what happened to the other members of the family. Or you can head up and take a look at what's going on higher in the uh, the lighthouse. It seems like the frame rate issue may have fixed itself. I'm not entirely certain how, why the game slows down when it does sometimes. Unless it's uh, simulating events happening in parts of the world where, uh, where the player is not. Okay, there's a chest that I cannot open, and it's the way that I came from. There's a set of stairs heading up further, uh, just up to this light thing, which I guess is the light of the lighthouse. So. We definitely are going to need a light source, and we should keep on training Muffle. Particularly because training Muffle, again, it will get us closer to invisibility, and invisibility will really change the way that the game plays out. Now we want Soul Trap and uh, our sword. This is a Master Strength lock, meaning that it will be pretty hard to find the right combination, but we lucked out and started not too far from correct, and it looks like it's slightly to the left. And the more mastery in lock picking you get, the wider the area is uh, that it's correct. Okay, I think now we heard a much clearer chittering sound. I'm pretty sure that there are critters down here. So we're going to tiptoe down. Actually, let's switch back to a crossbow and keep our crossbow ready because those creatures did not sound very far away. And we're going to keep our eye on the steps beneath so that we don't step into a trap. And we're seeing blood. Okay, that's not looking good. Keep on slipping forward. Unfortunately, these creatures are incredibly nasty. They're not easy to kill, and they hit very, very hard. Oh, and there one is. And Jizargo is just going to run right in. Oh, and they spit poison, in case they weren't charming enough already. Okay, so we're going to do this, but we're going to have to do it very carefully. Fortunately, Jizargo is doing a pretty good job at uh, killing them quickly. Uh, there, there was one that was creeping this way somewhere. Oh, it's creeping the other way now. Come on. Okay. Got him. And salmon, I think they're just, you can only get meat from salmon.
and as nasty as they are, later on in the dungeons there are versions of them that are flying and that do even more damage. So they are highly unpleasant to fight and they get worse. Now we are getting kind of full. We can't keep on carrying a lot more. Oh, maybe they weren't Dwemer. Maybe they were uh, Aliker, which are, I believe, a type of Red Guard. Red Guards are the um, essentially the Arabs of uh, of this game world. Yeah, Felmer War Axe. Definitely or Felmer ahead. We're going to keep on creeping down here to Frostflow Abyss, which is a very friendly sounding place. Okay. Uh, let's get our crossbow back out. And we're going to keep on creeping rather than walking because, yep, there's that sound. It is not the sound of, of healthy safety. It's the sound of chittering nasties. Okay. And there it is. Okay, so let's see if we can get a good clear shot here. No! Well, that's unfortunate. And Jazargo is just going to stumble right into the way again. So we'll pull out our sword and... Okay. But this looks like there is a Helmer right up ahead. Seems to be kind of stuck against the wall here for some reason. Well, I'm not going to complain. It looks like... Uh, So I think Mani is another member of that family that you can read all about if you're interested. Are they Red Guards or are they Felmer? I guess they're probably Red Guards. Yeah. So let's lift him up. Yeah. And it looks like the Felmer have decided to mix swords and shovels together into a neat arrangement. So they're not completely devoid of artistic talent, despite no longer having sentient souls. I uh, can grab a bear pelt, which we could use later on. Oh yeah, so while we're here, I did sp spot this gold earlier. I thought it would be nice to grab it. You can grab a broom if you like, but there's not a lot of use in the game for brooms. So, moving right along, there's some mushrooms, and there is up ahead. Yeah, I'm just liking the bow a lot more. It's a lot easier to uh, tell what you're doing with the bow. Okay. So that made some noise and I can hear... Huh, there was a red dot, now it disappeared. I'm guessing what that means is that there were... Uh, were some Karis 
or Charis, I'm not sure which, that wandered into a trap after uh, after hearing that fight, because they were probably trying trying to come to aid their uh, their buddies. Okay, and as already established, these guys can do alchemy. And they uh, they sometimes poison their weapons with the potions they make, so that's probably what was happening there. Could grab a torch if I wanted, but I'm not going to. Oh, and this is the trap that it stumbled through. So there's all these wires throughout these dungeon that, if you're careful, you'll either you can shoot them with an arrow or you can shout at them. There's all sorts of ways that you can disarm them rather than just stumble blindly into them. And that gets to be kind of important because a, a lot of the later traps are strong enough that you're not going to survive them. Okay, so let's see. I can dimly see a Falmer in there. It sends... Can't see quite well enough to necessarily hit. Teamwork. So I will work on this spider and he will finish off the Falmer. Looking good. And now that those guys are gone, let's let's brighten up the place a little bit. I I am not super far from my carrying capacity, but I'm not quite there yet. And it would be nice to be able to wrap up this dungeon before I need to head out. Or I mean before this playthrough is done, but I don't think I'm going to do that. But it would certainly be nice to be able to wrap it up uh, without making a trip back. Okay. This looks like, yes, a place where f some fighting is going to happen. It's an interestingly open area. Although it looks like we're going to use the term fighting pretty loosely. Because I just wiped out my enemies before they got the chance to come at me. But now things are going to get interesting. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Now somewhere up there is another foe. Because we can see it's red dot. But I don't see it. So I'm not sure if it's upstairs or downstairs. Probably upstairs. Let's put Soul Trap in our left hand, keep the sword in our right, and try to pay attention to the sounds that we hear. Aha, there it is. It's downstairs. Might have been upstairs, though. Sweet. Got another soul. And let's put our shield back up. Actually, Soul Trap is a pretty decent thing to keep here. Because we are encountering enemies pretty often. And can keep on getting mushrooms. Lots and lots of mushrooms. So I suppose in theory you should be able to crawl into those tunnels, but it would probably be a really bad idea because the Falmer are probably a lot more maneuverable in them than you are, 
and the Felmer probably could avoid getting lost in a way that you couldn't in them. And the Felmer are also probably quite plentiful down there. So it just might effectively be a, a quick trip to Doom, which is why they didn't put it into the game. Maybe. It's a theory, anyhow. Okay, so here's a Felmer that we shot earlier. I don't really want to grab, take this bow. And where is the way onwards? So somewhere to the left, I guess. Yeah, so straight ahead over here. But we can see there are those uh, nasty critters. I do kind of like how Jazargo uh, hums to himself when he's uh, just hanging out. Adds to the flavor of his character a bit. We're going to save just in case and continue onwards. So this is looking like a den of Thalmer up ahead. At some point, it, we probably should pick up some su uh, summoning spells because those can be really useful to prevent. Oh, we're looking over a pit and we're seeing lots of lots of those spidery looking things down there. Well, let's see what we can do. Charis, that's what they're called. And this is where, probably where the Charis raise uh, their young. Okay, let's tiptoe down. Let's see if we can... Well, I guess that's enough for that. We would like to grab as many of these eggs as we can because they're useful for alchemy. Unfortunately, now that we're down here, we don't have a way back up, so we have to be careful not to. Uh... Okay, so we're back. We're sneaky again, but yeah, we do not have a path of, of retreat right now, so we need to be a little bit more uh, cautious than we otherwise would be. Actually, I'm going to specify my, my arrows because the Felmer arrows are just not that effective. So, yeah, Felmer arrows, they do 7 damage. Do I have any steel arrows? Yeah, I have 180 of these. They do 10 damage. So I'll keep collecting the Felmer arrows uh, to sell them, but I do not need to uh, keep using such a weak arrow. Now, one of the nasty things about these is that it's it's making almost an eating sound as you pick them up. I try not to think about that too much. Okay, definitely hearing those critters again. It's kind of ridiculous that you can keep picking things up while you are holding a drawn bow. Ah, much nicer damage there. Because 
Previously I was doing damage, taking roughly half of the health of one of these guys with every hit. Now I'm doing, uh, taking most, almost all. Okay, and it is eating. Well... Jizargo is, but I kind of wish you were here. Okay. I don't know why they're carrying gems, but I am not going to complain. Free gems are always a plus. You can either sell them, or you can use them to make uh, jewelry if you want to level your smithing skill. And I generally want to level my smithing skill. So, let's keep on moving. And I'm guessing... See, that torch thing is weird. Oh, okay, so these... This is where things get interesting. Where's Jizargo? Jizargo, kind of need you. Uh, get down. Come on. Come on, dude. Is he actually stuck up there? That's no good. Oh, come on. Okay, so what I'm gonna try and do is shout at him to knock him off the ledge. Sorry about that, but but I'm worried that if if I didn't shout him down, then he would be stuck. Uh, he would be stuck down here, and I kind of need him for this up, uh, upcoming fight. So these are shells from which can come the uh, flying versions of uh, of those critters before, like that. And they are not fun to, to kill. They're tough bastards. They're well armored. They have really powerful attacks. On the upside, they have pretty useful uh, drops. Okay, got him. But yeah, they're they're not something you take uh, fighting lightly. You you want to be really well armored, and you want to try to avoid being close to them for too long. And uh, let's see, where am I going? I think I came from down there. So let's see. I, yeah, I want to uh, go ahead and and take the leftward exit. And I'm hearing some more of these guys, so... I do need to be... stay ready to fight them. Okay. Not looking good. One... Two... Three. Okay, there's that guy dead. But, it, but we probably want to avoid um, disturbing those cases until we're either sure that the uh, Charises won't be coming up to visit us. I guess we're doing okay. Let's let's do this thing. Mm, 
unfortunately, we're getting killing it without a. Okay, looking good so far. There's another one of these things, maybe? No, empty shell. Okay, that's good. I think there might, this up ahead might be another one. Except it's another empty shell, but... Okay, we're gonna hop down, and that will draw all the charises that are down there to come and see me. Not good. Come on. Okay. So I may have managed to have uh, got them all. In which case, it is just time to enjoy the loot. Jazargo, you gonna come down? Wait, where are you? <sighs> Inadequate lighting. Let's keep Muffle in our left hand so that we keep... Jazargo, where'd you go? Jisargo, he decided to back back off in the corridor, and that is not going to make it... I don't know how I'm going to retrieve him, because I don't think I can make it back up there without... Well, it's, it's possible when I leave the dungeon that he will just uh, be right next to me. But if not, there's a certain inconvenience that uh, here. Okay, another one of these... Things. Come on, dude. Don't 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 do that. Maybe he knows uh he recognized that I shouted him down last time and doesn't want to uh do that again. Well, I will proceed onward and hope that he will just magically be next to me the next time I need him. Oh, oh my goodness. I had forgotten about that. There is a gigantic Karis over there. I'm gonna save. And... And just with, with a touch, He's already taken all my health, or almost all my health. So, let's heal up. And hit him with a paralysis potion. And hopefully it actually worked. And I'm going to heal up again, just in case. And I'm still taking damage from his friends. And you will very rarely see me use uh, use any of the boosting uh, health. I'm sorry, boosting armor uh, potions. But in this time, I think it's needed. And Jisargo is at least hanging out up there looking after me, even if he's not willing to come down. 
Maybe I can sh shut him down now. Yes, that is good. Sorry, Jazargo. But I just can't have you hanging back like that. I know, I know. Okay. And... Good. So we have this gigantic Charis dead. And we got a light lighthouse key, which I believe opens that chest that we saw up at the top. Uh, and we're hearing more uh, more charises. I know this is not a friendly place for us. So this is where that guy was resting, and you just find there are tons and tons of charis eggs here. But we're gonna walk around, and keep on climbing up. And let's just see if there's... No, okay. No enemies that we alerted by firing the arrow near here. So I'm guessing the reason that Thalmer have torches and fires is just for the heat, because the game heavily implies that they, they're completely blind. Or at least they were. There's a chance that... Um, that that just describes things that were in the past, and that they're uh, they might be re uh, regaining their sentience and intelligence and all that other stuff. So we'll drop back down here, and I think at this point we're just trying to find the exit, which I believe is this way. Oh, good, he is willing to drop down there. So we're nearing the end of this let's play. Uh, but we are going to see if we can make it upstairs and to the chest before we run out of time. Since we're back in the lighthouse... <clears throat> And yes, that is our new unfavorite creature. And so we are ready to head up. And we put that guy's remains into the lighthouse flame. Probably smells awful. And we got Sailor's Repose. I don't remember what that is. I think it's another permanent effect. Oh yeah, and I, I caught an illness rock joint at some point. Sailor's Repose improves healing. Now, the rock joint, that is definitely bad for our character. The way that we're, uh, we're playing. So... Yeah, we've cleared this area. And we're going to head back uh, home. so that we can visit uh, one of the Temples of the Divines to use, it, to use a shrine to cure our rock joint. And we're seeing some more of this uh, slowdown again. Disrespect the law and you disrespect me. But if I disrespect you, am I disrespecting the law? Anyhow. Could do this, and then over here there is a shrine of Talos. Oh, was there a butterfly? Yeah, there's a butterfly. And I am cured of rock joint. How can a humble servant of Talos help you today? Uh, not a lot, and this looks like it is a closed off former entrance to the city. So, that is uh, this episode of Let's Play. And we're going to leave it off here.
you in the next.